Hi there, Toy here, and I have a very impromptu video to put together. It's kind of an after unboxing. Okay, so I got some uh, books in that I've been waiting for. This has been a long time coming, and it's just been a whole process. And when they got here in their envelopes, I just opened them without even thinking, you know what? Some people might want to see those. So this is this is the after unboxing. <laughs> so anyway, this is what I have. Um, I have two new books that I just recently released. I haven't done a whole lot of promotion for them yet. I'm going to try to rectify that. But um, I never could get the proofs in. It was a, a big mess that I don't want to talk about now. But I finally got them. And they look so good that I want to share them with you. So here is Ain't Nobody Got Time for Book Reviews. Yeah, can you see it? Here, let me. There you go. And this is a non-fiction opinion piece by me where I talk about just, you know, book reviewing culture. It's, it's a short read. You can, if you sit down and read it from cover to cover, it'll be two hours or less. And so in it, I talk about the benefits of reading book reviews, the benefits of writing book reviews, how to write book reviews. And there's also a little section where I kind of, I wouldn't call it a rant because I'm not angry. I'm kind of like joking and laughing about it. But there are a couple of points where I get kind of serious and talk about some of the things that are happening in the publishing industry and how it may or may not affect authors and reviews, things like that. But for the most part, it's a fun little book, and I hope you will check it out. 100% of the proceeds of this book, the sales, will go towards my um, dream of starting a book fair. I'm going to call it Lit Carnival whenever I can get it up and running. I've been very slow moving with it, but having this in my hands kind of motivates me to get that up and going better. The other book that I got is also... Um, a book that I wrote to kind of promote that idea. 100% of the proceeds from this book will also go towards the Lit Carnival dream that I have to start a book fair in my local Hampton Roads area. And this one is for the kids. It's called Carney Loves Books. Can you see it? There you go. <laughs> and Carney will be the official mascot of Lit Carnival. I made him myself. And so let, I'm just going to show you kind of some of the the pages in it so you can get a the book starts off Carney is sad and I'm gonna make a video where I'm showing you like the whole story but basically Carney loses his glasses and he's a bookworm without his glasses he can't read so he goes on a search to find his glasses and I think it, it the book came out so cute and I can't wait to share it with people and so this arrived and so I'm so happy and I got some other books. Now, these books were previously published, but these are the second editions. Um, I wrote four educational children's books. Um, two of them taught kids about needs and wants, and the other two taught kids about changes. And actually, I wanted to show you um, the uh, new books. They're, it's the same story, just new editions. And I actually pulled one aside to show you the before and after so you can see the difference. But the covers are exactly the same. There's Chip and Skip need each other. But on the inside, they are full page images. And it wasn't before. And I'll show you what, what that looks like. But this is the story of, you know, Chip and Skip and what they need. Let me find at the back of the book, there's a good picture of Chip and Skip. There you go. So I got my new um, second edition proofs in. And so this one is Land Changes Over Time. Sorry about all the glares, guys. It's it's in late in the evening because it's been a long day. And so I wanted to get this video done. But again, these are now full page images of the story um, to be read. And this one is plants and animals change over time and this one was one of my favorites to redo because I just love the little let me find it for you <laughs> where is it there we go I love the little chick and the flower and so with the full page image I feel like it just it comes together a lot better 
And so the last one I'm going to show you is the one I actually have the before and after kind of side by side to show you. I didn't want to do all of them because I don't want this to be a long video. I already feel like it's kind of long. So they look exactly the same. The covers do. What does Joe need? But I'm going to show you the side by side of the first edition and the second edition. And you can see the major changes. Oh, hold on. Let's get these pages open. All right, so first edition, I had the images up at the top, the words at the bottom. You know, former teacher here, I'm thinking educational type stuff. This is how you teach kids to read. But if you want it to be a fun reading experience, you really need the full image, the full page image experience. So that's the before, that's the after. And I really feel like it really makes the stories come together so much better. This is him trying to pick out his glasses. It's such a cute little story. I think they're all cute stories. I mean, obviously, I'm a little biased. I wrote them. But I've heard from other people that they're cute. So anyway, I'm just so excited. I had to get this video done. My new books came in. I'm so excited to actually, you know, get moving on trying to get this whole book fair thing to be a real deal, a real dream of mine come to life. And hopefully these books will help me get there. Bye for now.